Oh, clothesline! If you're on the other side of that ring against Goldberg, expect the WCW legend to come out of the gate with an onslaught of offense. He'd be wise to stay right there. Going for the ride. Shades of JBL with a fallaway slam. Looks like he's starting to sweat now. And you know all three of the superstars he's up against won't back down at any point during this match. When you put that much meat in the ring, somebody's going to get hurt. And unfortunately for him, he's the one on the receiving end of this inevitable beatdown. The reason they call Dean Ambrose a lunatic fringe is because he doesn't know when to give up, doesn't know when to stop. I don't believe I've ever seen a superstar as unpredictable as Dean Ambrose. is scaling the ropes. To elaborate further on Michael's point on why Dean Ambrose is the lunatic fringe, when Ambrose wrestled in Puerto Rico, he had ice cubes and batteries thrown at him. And he called that a beautiful thing. Well, only Dean Ambrose would be so twisted to enjoy that, but I don't know if Dean ever had a mind, but if he did, he lost it a long time ago. Over time, there have been various types of six-man teams that have been successful. There are family trios like the Guerreros, the Grams, the Andersons, and the Von Erichs. There have been members of factions who have also produced tremendous six-man teams like the Fabulous Freebirds, the Four Horsemen, the NWO, and D-Generation X. Set him up for the... Sweep. Nicely done. He's so close to making the tag here. There it is. The tag has been made. Oh, he needed that in the worst way, Michael. Byron, you mentioned some families and groups that created incredible six-man teams. We're talking more about factions. Don't forget about the likes of the Hart Foundation, Evolution, the Wyatt Family, the Shield, and the New Day. These are only some of the trios who've had unbelievable matches against a variety of adversaries. If we're talking about three-man teams, I need to shout out one of the baddest trios of all time who held the World Six-Man Championship on a number of occasions. I'm talking about the American Dream Dusty Rhodes and the Road Warriors. When the Dream put on the face paint, you knew it was going to be a bad night for their opponents. Dean 
Ambrose is relentless. This is a man who kissed a bat wrapped in barbed wire during his match against Brock Lesnar at WrestleMania. The inmate does run the asylum when we're talking about Dean Ambrose. Don't you dare get up, man. Leg is hooked. Here we go. Perfect plex. That changes the entire complexion of this match. He's calling for it. Ambrose. It's clear that there's a... Yes! I knew it was only a matter of time. Sting was the one man who the sports entertainment world wanted to see in WWE. In 2014, after many lost hope, the last bastion of WCW emerged from the dark and Survivor Series and confronted Triple H. Tremendous impact. What does Sting have to do at this point to stay in this match? Rather than Ouch. continuing to absorb any more punishment, he might want to tag out here. At this point, he really has to think about mixing it up a bit. Maybe implement more of a power game into his offense. Guys, I wasn't anticipating this type of performance for him tonight. He's starting to look a little lost in there right now. Sting's WWE debut at the Survivor Series was indeed a shock, Michael. His arrival made a major impact as he helped Team WWE defeat Team Authority in the main event, putting Triple H and Stephanie out of power for a while. Let's get this straight, gentlemen. Sting had no right to be at Survivor Series. He was not under WWE contract. He was not an invited guest to the Authority or Mr. McMahon. He accosted Triple H and adversely affected the outcome of the main event. Float over. Oh. And do it. DDT! Spiked him. Somebody wound him up and he's off and running. You better stay right where he is. The Rock has an impressive entering resume that puts him in the discussion for the call. Oh, super kick! Can he finish the job? That was both a quick and powerful strike, guys. We know what's coming here. Yeah, right to the back of the neck. That almost came out of nowhere. Seth Rollins is rolling now. And there's the tag. Roman Reigns into the ring. Michael, Corey, you both discussed The Rock's dominance on the big screen. And I have to point out that he brought his start on Full Circle and he actually produced a movie about Paige's career. Yeah, I actually caught an advanced screening of the movie and loved every minute of it. But if The Rock wants another great WWE story, how about the inspirational tale of how I became the greatest announcer in WWE history despite being held back by working with you, Byron? He's got him on his heels and shows no signs of letting up. The ref's out. No good can come of this, Michael. What's Roman Reigns putting together here? Roman Reigns lives by motto. Superman punch! He's back in control here. Oh, man, The Rock really needs to dig down deep. Look at... Ooh, what impact. I'm not sure how much he has left. That is a huge opportunity for Roman Reigns. He's got the ropes, and the pin is broken. If history has shown us anything when it comes to Roman Reigns, 
It's that the man is fearless. And when the big dog is on the hunt, opposing superstars better beware. We all know that Roman Reigns is not going to back down from a fight. Reigns will defend the Roman Empire with everything he's got. And if Roman's the only one defending it, he's okay with that too. And he's heading back in. Slam. Not sure how much more Rock can take. He started this match in great health, but now it seems Ooh. fatigue has set in. Yeah, the Brahma Bull has been taken by the horn. I wish someone would put you out the pasture. Guys, when the Rock first broke into WWE, he was often referred to as a blue chipper. And given his legendary lineage, it's easy to see why so much was expected from him right from the start. Planted. Well, Roman Reigns may have it. Is he done? He releases it. And you can debate whether or not that would have been the end. Interesting decision there. As Byron mentioned, The Rock comes from a long line of successful Samoan superstars, including former WWE Tag Team Champion Rocky Johnson, grandfather High Chief Peter Maivia, both of whom are WWE Hall of Famers. And with respect to those legends, I'd say it's The Rock and his multiple World Championship reigns. Uh-oh. We know what Reigns is looking to do here. Superman Punch! The Rock's not looking so great here, guys. Here is Roman Reigns in position now. Roman Batista! What a spear from the animal! That has got to be it. Even when he's not scheduled for a match, The Rock can still make WrestleMania history. There's the Erie host. He's going for the pin. One, two,